Hey everybody, Nick here. Welcome to No Ideas Media. You know, by now, you know what No Ideas Media is all about. We want to bring pragmatic talk to divisive topics. Now, I've got a background in agriculture, so we started with food. Chemicals, biotechnology, sustainability, farming practices, I mean, we've covered it all. But you know what? It's all just talk. If you're like me and you think genetic engineering is a promising global tool that farmers everywhere deserve access to, you'll know that at some point, talk is cheap. Sometimes we need to actually do something, take some form of action, and today I'm going to give you that opportunity. There's this thing you may have heard of called the Aqua Advantage Salmon. If you haven't heard of it, I'm going to catch you up. The Aqua Advantage Salmon is a genetically engineered salmon that is now being farmed for food and has recently been approved for sale in the United States. And there are a number of things you should know about it. It's the first of its kind, really. I mean, an animal that we eat that we've genetically engineered. That's kind of a new thing. GMO plants, okay, we've all eaten plenty of those, but GMO livestock, livestock that swims, that's kind of novel. Now, I mean, the fact that we've engineered salmon is novel. The salmon itself, like what you'd actually eat, it's not novel at all. In fact, it's kind of normal and boring. It's no different from non-GMO salmon. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell GMO and non-GMO salmon apart by looking at them. In fact, it's already being sold in Canada, and I bet you didn't even know that. Nutritionally, visually, mouthfeel-wise, it's exactly the same. It's salmon. Now, all of the neat stuff about Aqua Advantage salmon, like all of the engineering, comes into play kind of before the grocery store, like in production. For one, these salmon grow really, really, really fast. Atlantic salmon can normally take like three years to get big enough to sell at a market, but engineered Atlantic salmon made by Aqua Bounty will reach that same size in 18 months, which means farming them is really efficient. And believe it or not, when it comes to humans eating fish, the most sustainable way to farm those fish is on land in big pools. Now, I know that might seem totally counterintuitive. Like, how can growing fish not in the ocean be better? Well, we all know about the problems associated with overfishing, right? It's, it's not very good for the environment for all of us salmon lovers to rely on a wild salmon supply. There are lots of us salmon lovers and not enough wild salmon. That's a problem. So farm the salmon in like big net enclosures in the ocean where they belong. Eh, that's also not great. You've got storms, predators, algae blooms, jailbreaks, and worst of all, you've got pathogens and disease from wild fish passed into the denser population of the fish in the enclosures. That's not good. So for the last 30 years or so, smart people have been working on how to farm fish on land. And we've generally got that figured out, but because normal salmon take like three years to grow, it's not cost effective for a normal salmon to spend its whole life on land in the big tank. So maybe they let the juvenile salmon hang out in cages in a lake or let the middle-aged salmon plump up for a year or two in sea cages. The point being, the salmon takes so long to grow, they can't do it all in the tank. And that exposes the salmon to all of the risks of outdoor fish farming. Then comes along this Aqua Advantage salmon that can take advantage of the safety of indoor fish farming and spend its whole 16 to 18 months indoors away from the dangers of the sea. And it's about this time you're thinking, oh my God, what are we talking about here? Some jacked up fish that lives half a life and never gets to see the sun? Okay, first, they're big tanks, all right? Second, I thought we didn't want GMOs escaping into the wild. This stops that. Third, have you ever seen a wild salmon with like a parasitic infection? Yeah, we're not even gonna show you that, but it's not good. Indoor fish farming is way, way, way more humane and way, 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 way more sustainable. This is the best part, people, the feed conversion ratio. Okay, so a feed conversion ratio basically answers the question, how many pounds of food does it take to make a pound of animal? Some livestocks need more feed than others, and that plays into measuring a particular livestock's sustainability. In very simplified terms, if you can knock that ratio down, it's more sustainable livestock farming. The lowest possible feed conversion ratio is desirable in livestock farming. And if that's how we're measuring quality in this specific example, that the Aqua Advantage salmon is one of the most sustainable livestocks in the entire world. I'll say it again, from a feed conversion perspective, Aqua Advantage salmon is one of the most sustainable meats in the entire world. It has a feed conversion ratio of one to one. One pound of fish food nets one pound of salmon. That's as good as you're gonna get. Plus, the biggest factor in carbon emissions when we're talking salmon is shipping the stuff. Land-based fish farming means the fish can be grown way closer to the cities that eat them, which means up to 25 times less carbon will be emitted shipping these dang salmon around. 
that's kind of cool. And finally, the coolest part. After 20 or so years of development, Aqua Bounty's Aqua Advantage Salmon is finally available for purchase in the US. But as you'd expect, it's seeing a lot of typical anti-GMO opposition. And this brings us back around to what I said at the start. I'm gonna give you something you can actually do. An action item, like a, a go out in the world and do something besides typing angrily at trolls type thing. The best thing you could do for this application of biotechnology is asking your local market to carry Aqua Advantage Salmon. It's that simple. The salmon needs to get out in the market and bought and enjoyed so that Aqua Bounty can expand their facilities and make fish farming far more sustainable. In the description for the video today, you'll find a link to Aqua Bounty's website where you can find all kinds of good information you'll wanna familiarize yourself with. I've also left a link where you can download a kind of template letter to send to your local market if you're not that great at writing. Now, oh my God, it's ghost writing. I know, but that's kinda of how serious this is. Cause I don't mean walking to the grocery store at 4 p.m. in sweatpants, call the manager down and say, hey man, carry GMO salmon, bro. Take this seriously, like get a little dressed up, comb your hair, write a letter and hand deliver it to the manager or owner of your local grocer. Be professional, like be an ambassador for science and after you hand it off the letter, buy yourself some ice cream or something because you actually did something real for science today. And when you drop off this letter, and I know you will. Comment below, let everyone know you did it and urge them to do the same. It's gonna feel good, like, I don't know, making your bed or taking a shower or something, I promise. And for all you suspicious types out there, no, this video wasn't sponsored by Aqua Bounty. I'd have to tell you if it was. These are my own views. I think this is important. I think this is an actual action item we can do to improve the state of biotechnology in our food system. So thanks for watching.